Good evening, everyone. Let's get started. I think uh, we have been a fair amount of quorum coming. Uh, so today, we're going to cover a uh, simplistic method of uh, creating wealth, which is not, not uh, you know, something which is surprising for you. It's very, very familiar terminology, familiar usage, familiar things that you would have come across. But we're going to look at it from different insights across it. The first thing uh, is that how do we create wealth for customers? An easy method. And how do you create your income as well? So these are the two parts that we're going to cover today. Uh, so let's move forward. Uh, the first thing, let's say, uh, you know, let's uh, go, want to, we want to go to Goa. And if I tell you that there are two roads to go to Goa, the first one is a little easy road. Uh, and the second one is a little delayed road, but it goes through a lot of good scenic beauty of uh, turns and twists and going around. And then that's going to, with a longer route to it so and but the problem is that uh, the first route has got tolls on it so, and it also has some amount of constructions going on in in between so which one would you choose would you choose a first route or would you choose the second route to uh, make this uh, destination so you can probably keep posting your uh, uh, responses onto the chat box so what you feel that you, which route you would you want to take? You want to take the toll route, which is probably a shorter, smoother, boring route, or you want to go through a longer, beautiful, scenic route, uh, which will take you through on a very, very easy road without any kind of an obstruction. Which one would you love to take? Okay, I see some comments already. Um, okay, second one. Okay, so let's have uh, today we're going to take the same second route uh, to reaching the destination. So let's say what is the second route all about? So if, uh, it's a slow way of creating wealth to reach the same destination. And why is it necessary that we go through the slow, slow route? Now let's presume uh, all of us have goals in life, different different goals that we need to achieve. And we keep saving for that particular goal uh, eventually over a period of time and keep saving and achieve those goals. Let's take one goal as an example for now. Let's put that uh, put that at retirement. And for retirement, let's say a 30 year old guy uh, wants to retire at age 60 and uh, he would require about two crores to have a meaningfully good retired life. So for two crores of accumulated wealth that he needs to achieve at the age 60 for a 30 year gold, uh, the, he would probably uh, require 6,80,000 rupees to be put in at one go as in corpus to create that two crores. So it looks very simplistic, right? So and it is very, very true that if somebody can just allocate 6,80,000 rupees at one go and keep it in a 12 percent yielding instrument for the next 30 years he would probably reach that particular so that's the easiest route to go but it's not very easy as much as much as can be said because a 30 year old go, uh, person might not have six like eighty thousand rupees available at a surplus at that particular age so for a person who's a slow earner who's not able to reach that kind of an earning or not able to put that kind of an income at one particular go so what's the way for him is that is sip and that's exactly what we're going to cover today and we're going to look at this in a different right uh, different light not in the same way that you you are looking at sip or you heard of sip and many of you uh, have confusions around sip so i thought we we're going to take up uh, that particular discussion today so that's why we've taken up sip as an objective of discussions for today so let's go for that particular goal uh, of retirement and the, how we create wealth over a period of time for this particular young guy of 30 year old to, over a period of 30 years to retire at 60. Okay, obviously, it's the global known truth that SIP is the smartest way of making investment for a long period of time. Everybody said that, you know, it's a no brainer and you don't have to worry so much about it and making your investments. Now, how does it literally work? So. Uh, 
now if we have the goal path to 30 years of retired life there are quite a lot of hurdles that happens quite a lot of things that happens in the market i said you know it's a 12 percent yielding instrument which is typically let's say equity markets which yield us about 30 percent 12 percent over the next 30 years but if equity market is not a smooth simple straight simple line it is a crooked line to growth so how does it happen so let, there is quite a lot of market volatility we would face ups and downs in markets market could correct market could go up and it's not new to us we've seen that a number of times market correcting quite a lot of uh, time then people try to time the market they try to keep on investing in different different levels and say okay man, now market is corrected i've seen people trying to do that uh, in different things sometimes uh, timing happens uh, wrong mostly not in bear markets timing happens wrong in bull markets is that people exit investments in bull markets whenever thinking that oh I, now market will fall from here i would want to exit and keep my profit booking and uh, take out that money and then they will never get another entry opportunity uh, very rarely that we have seen that people come in uh, and invest at uh, lower market levels because uh, at that point of fear sinks in and because of fear and greed, both the parts uh, reacting to it, uh, people try to time the market and end up uh, not gaining so much of returns from the market. The third one is that risk of losses. Uh, people always fear that I might uh, have losses around it so, or it could have volatility and volatility means losses. Uh, Times and people exit their investments in wrong point in time. So this is the three factors which probably play an important role. How does this can be eliminated? And this can be eliminated in a very, very, very simplistic manner that is SIP. So what is SIP all about? SIP is basically, it, you can call this as a recurring deposit in mutual funds. You can just keep putting a simple, simple amount of money every month or you, uh, you want to commit that amount to it and keep uh, saving this. And it is also a simplistic manner of investing and it is a graduated method and a disciplined approach to making an investment. So this is this three uh, beautiful component of SIP and that's why it makes it the smartest way of investing. Now let's move forward and look at our own example that we had taken for this person who wanted to retire at age 60, a 30 year old guy who wanted to accumulate 2 crore and for him how does it work? So it, all he has to do is if he just invest just 6,000 rupees every month on month consistently for the next 30 years, uh, he would be there at 12% interest rate. So how much would he have accumulated? So look at that magic that is happening out there with SIP. So he would have invested about 21 lakh 60,000 rupees over a period of time. Now you might ask me, uh, before you ask me this question, let me answer this. In the uh, uh, previous time, I told you the 6 lakh rupees was enough. And here I'm saying 21 lakh 60,000 is required. Yes, the differential is because your last 6,000 is getting invested just one month prior to your retirement. So it is not getting invested at one go. So that's why it almost requires three or four times of the entire corpus that you would have to put in at a lump sum investment. I'm not saying lump sum investment is a bad option. But what happens is for a lump sum investor is not suitable for everyone. People who are salaried people, people who get a consistent amount of income over a period of time, it's better that they keep saving on the month consistent basis. Ideally, the best thing to be done is to save 30 to 35% of their monthly saving yeah, and keep saving across throughout the period of time for different, different goals. Now, we're just talking about one goal here, which is retirement, right? So for which the money requirement is just 6,000 rupees. And that 6,000 rupees invested over 30 years can lead him to two crores of capital when he is retiring, which was the goal objective. Now, it's much simpler. Uh, isn't it easier to do a 6,000 rupee SIP than that of putting 680,000 rupees or closer to 7 lakh rupees at one go at age 30? So this is the easiest and the simplest method of investing that's what i wanted to bring that thought across to you and with me why does it make it much more convenient is that it, if you ask me now if today uh, let's look at petrol prices petrol prices now touched uh, everybody is crying about it up at 100 rupees per liter right and if i go and fill my tank full my car full i would probably spend six thousand rupees right and, and that doesn't even come for 15 days uh and we go for an outing, we go for a dinner, uh, one dinner, uh, all of us go for dinner, I, I'm sure, uh, at least once a month. And that would bring us up four or five thousand rupees of bill. 
Uh, same thing when we go for a movie per family member, we almost end up spending thousand rupees uh, for a multi uh, theater, uh, multiplex movie, right? So that same thing, you can treat this as one outing for the family, or you can treat this as one uh, movie. You skip the uh, best thing as you guys as partners, when you talk to customers, you should tell them that presume that you are or you save the 6,000 rupees by going for one movie less. So if you're watching five movies in a month, watch go only four times and one movie cost, you put it in your SIP. Okay, or one outing in a month can be put in here. That is the best, simplest way of allocating and that one movie per month can make you double crore, two crores of accumulated wealth by the time you retire. And you wouldn't have even realized when this money got accumulated and when you have saved enough and otherwise 2002 crores of sub corpus is a dream project dream aspiration for many many people now you can do this into half also now let's presume uh, somebody wants to just in, want to be a karorpati and he wants to be a karorpati in 30 years this guy can just save 3000 rupees can make him a karorpati out there so that's simplistic method and the beauty of sip now uh, here what has uh, what happens exactly in uh, sip is very simple is something called as a rupee cost averaging every month i've just taken for first 12 months here so every month that you look at it i'm just putting at 66000 rupees now let's presume this is the cost per unit which is also in mutual fund terminologies is the nav uh, the first month let's assume the nav was 12 rupees and then uh, it became 11 market fell a little bit market went back market went up down it kept it remained same so 11 12 11 12 13 14 16 17 it kept on happening by every month we keep on accumulating every time market falls down whenever the cost goes down I'm accumulating more and more units from there and that's way I will be able to build up more and more units by the time the 12th month happens. And just simplistically by the time the month ends and when the market valuation has changed, my unit accumulation would have given me that appreciation. And this is how that simplistic easy method uh, for investing is. Otherwise 72,000 rupees one go for a customer would have been difficult, right? And the same thing, 21 lakh rupees of one go, it's like 80,000 rupees at one go for one customer is very complicated. So this is the most simplest. I call this as a boring investment and that boring investment is the best investment. Uh, and unfortunately, we are doing this session on Facebook. Otherwise, I would have shown you my own uh, Excel sheets. Those days, uh, Wealthy Tracker was not there. Uh, it was not, not enough of technology way back in 2004, 5. Uh, I still have my Excel sheets from those days. I used to maintain all my uh, investments into that Excel sheets. My I, And I have not, uh, you know, I've created my own personal wealth to SIPs. My, I, you know, I owe a big uh, to uh, SIP because my personal wealth have got created. And I, I just did only one simplistic thing. Uh, initially, initial days of my career, I could not save enough, obviously, because my EMIs were a bit higher to my salary component. I'm almost about 70% of my uh, salary used to be getting into EMIs, but eventually it got leveled up as uh, job change. And so I managed to save uh, initially about 22%. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I don't have uh, an option to share, share that uh, Excel sheets across here. But then later on, as time moved on i managed to save almost closer to 50 percent till my last job assignment my net saving happened to be almost 56 percent of my salary was getting saved that's how you can keep accumulating and that becomes pretty big and it's unimaginably big amount that can get saved over the simplistic method of sip so this is how i thought i'd share it with you and every month we keep on saving that at lower valuations higher valuations and that will take our overall portfolio to a big level now why is this sip very very important how does it help one is an automated process for you once you set it up and you're done with it so you go to the customer you you speak to him that for your retirement, this is the corpus that is required. So let's say we'll take the same example that this guy requires two crore of corpus. And we, we just tell him that you put 6,000 rupees every month and get going. That's it. And you just talk to that customer once, set this SIP and you're done with this. You don't have to do uh, again repeatedly. You need, don't have to go to the customer every month to get the 6,000 rupees. And discipline 
every month helps the customer in building that process over a period of time. Uh, obviously, the rupee cost averaging happens, like I told you, as market falls, market goes up, your averaging keeps on happening over there. And the biggest beauty lies in here, where there is a compounding which is happening. Even if market grows at 12%, which I presumed it at, that power of compounding is phenomenally big because every rupee that is remaining there, every rupee, the first six months will become 12,000 rupees uh, next month and the third month it is 18 and so on and on and on and on. And that compounding will make it much, much bigger corpus, unimaginably big corpus. Uh, I have heard from many good stories from many people who come back and said that it's so beautiful that, you know, I never realized that I could have saved this much uh, by just simply still putting just uh, 5,000 rupees and 10,000 rupees. I wish I had more uh, uh, more saving that I had done when option was there. People realize it later, but that's the beauty of it. Right? So you can build, and this is something which is uh, thought process that I want to inculcate in you, uh, which is there are four ways, four strategies that you can use with your clients to create SIPs. The first one that I want to talk to you about is something called a simple SIP. Simple SIP is just what we just looked at it, that we assign 6,000 rupees every month and we'll keep allocating 6,000 rupees every month and let that 6,000 rupees keep on happening till the time I reach my uh, target or reach my goals retirement happens so that's a simplistic method which is this well-known sip method smart sip is a way another way of doing a uh, simplistically a much better way that every time if your valuation has come down let's say you had invested a uh, thousand rupees uh, uh six, let's take the same example of six thousand rupees and next month market fell and the valuation became five thousand five hundred but that five thousand five hundred instead of putting 6,000, you will invest 6,500 to adjust for the fall that is happening in the market. So that's a smart SIP. So every time you will keep your SIP amount variable a little bit. This is not a very convenient method, but for many people, whom can you suggest this particular thing for? Is this is a plan which is good for business community people who, who, who have a variable kind of an income, who don't mind putting in extra money at every interval that is possible. For an SIP, for a salaried guy, simple SIP is much better because his salary is fixed. Right. So that's the uh, second uh, method of doing an SIP for your customers. So you can use this also as a good SIP uh, conversation mechanism. The third one is a growing SIP. And this is something which I personally feel should be the right kind of a thought process for every, every client of yours. Now, what is growing SIP? Now, for all of us, right, and if it's a salaried person, every year his salary is getting revised with every appraisal, right? So let's presume that he is earning 10%, at least his salary is going up by 10% every year. So instead of doing just that plain simple 6,000 rupees of simple SIP of 6,000 rupees, he will do every year, he'll keep on increasing it by 10, 10%, right? And so this year he is making 6,000, next year his salary went up by 10%, he will say, okay, I will save 10% more which becomes 6,600 and that is a faster progressive method to reach the goal instead of taking 30 years to reach that particular goal and this exactly is what happened in my case I wanted to retire at age 60 today I'm 42 and I can manage to uh, you know live my next of my life and why is retired life more important uh, is that if you look at it your uh, you know a non-earning life after six uh, you will have to probably live for 30 odd years, which is the same equivalent year of earning life. We, we started probably our job at 30, uh, 28, 29, 30, whatever you would have started at that. But I'm presuming uh, on an average, a country's average is at 30. So you work for 30 years and have a retired life for 30 years. But your retired life is more expensive because you have medical expenses running. While at the same time, your inflation also is pretty high. I'm not going to get into inflation discussion right now. Or all of you are aware of that fact. So that's why growing SIP is much faster, much beneficial, much better way. Target SIP is an other way of doing things. That what you do is you take a target in mind. Like in this case, we had that this is uh, my goal. That my goal is for um, you know my son's education. And for every education, I would require let's say every uh, 
you know, fourth year and the fifth year, I would require 5, 5 lakh rupees of income right from his age 18. So 18, I would require 5 lakhs at the age of 19, 5 lakh plus uh, inflation, which is at 10%, let's presume 5 lakh 50,000 rupees and then so on and so on and on and on. So you keep these targets in mind and create a reverse plan mechanism with an SIP and which is a simplistic way, right? You don't have to keep aside 5 lakh rupees at one go or you don't, it will not that withdrawal at 5 lakh rupees for that son's education that would happen at age 18, 19 and 20, 21 every year. That uh, piece that will not pinch me at one go because I have already planned for it. It's a planned activity. So I'm confident I, I want all of you to have this should be this. basically when we go to clients I would want you to have just three simple discussions term plan talk to them about one term plan if they don't have a term plan give them a term plan if they don't have an health insurance give them a health, health insurance don't add up the company's health insurance because company's health insurances can change at the whims and fancy of the company Management can decide to change any policies at any point in time, but I would not be able to go into that. So that's second. The third thing is SIP. These are three things. And every client of yours, you should sell these three simple things and come out. Every meeting, every conversation should be these three things. And these are one-time settings, right? You, uh, like you can't keep on going and selling uh, health insurance every year, but SIP in mutual fund you can keep doing every time. But once you set up an SIP, it's done for lifetime, uh, and then you just go and ch keep changing the goals and keep uh, require see that how the tracking is happening once a year, and you're done. You don't have to meet customer every now and often. Now, uh, I all this is for the client. I want to showcase to you something which is more important: is what is it in it for you? How does your income change from year? So now one time of effort because we all we have to do is just set up the SIP. Uh, let's look at a simple SIP there that we say that, okay, I'm setting this SIP for now. Uh, I've figured it out and I have to save 6,000 rupees for the customer. What do you want? And that SIP will keep getting debited for the next 30 years. Look at what's happened, the beauty of your income there. Uh, many partners come back to me and say that, you know, oh, there's hardly any money in mutual funds. I can't make so much of income as much I can make in from other investments. But mutual fund gives you the biggest benefit that is of trail income, which is a very, very big income, meaningfully big without realizing when client is accumulating his wealth, you are also accumulating your wealth alongside. Don't forget that. That's why I keep saying that it's a win-win strategy both for you and for your client. So here, so every time the same example, 6,000 rupees that is got accumulated, your earnings in the initial months could probably, okay, this is mistake here. So in the initial months might look very, very small here, 3 rupees, uh, then it could be 6 rupees, 8 rupees, 11 rupees, 17. So first year is like very, very boring because you're still making about 30, 33 rupees kind of an average earning per month because of that 6,000 6, rupees that is coming in. But by the time the 360th month has happened, the client has already accumulated the two crores and your money from there on an, is almost 1,16,000. This is a monthly income that I've put in. Uh, your 1,16,000 rupees is ready for you. And when was that effort that you had put in? Almost 10, 20 years ago, right? And imagine if you manage to get 10, 10, 20 clients every month into SIPs, consistently keep repeating this behavior every month for yourself. And that, okay, this month I will talk to 10 customers. I'll, uh, you know, do this 10 customers uh, SIP and I will uh, build that across. Look at the kind of potential income that is, uh, you know, while customer is doing his SIP, you are also doing an indirect SIP for yourself on your income with lifetime which is the beauty of it right and you're not without doing an investment now imagine you do an sip for yourself and uh, creating wealth on this side as that side passive income active income all put together what kind of valuation that you would be sitting at in a, over a longer period of time so that's the beauty of it that's the beauty of it and that's the reason we keep creating contest i'm sure uh, all of you've seen the contest if you have not seen the contest it is right there on the same facebook page scroll down uh, i thought of showing it here but i'm not going to do that i want you to scroll down to that image there's a sip contest every month on month uh, it, it's not a profitable uh, contest from the wealthiest perspective but we, why do we want to give this kind of a contest and this kind of a additional payout to you is because we want to bring in that 
habit. It's a good habit of creating SIPs for customers and building wealth for yourself actively and passively. So that's the reason I thought I will uh, share this across to you and we will have this discussion around it. Okay, I will pause myself here and I would like to take up questions, whatever questions that you guys have so far, you can keep posting it on the uh, message box there. I will answer every question of yours. Uh, Upendra, I, I'm sorry if there was some kind of a typo in between, uh, maybe, uh, because while I was framing the PPT, I must have missed something. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Okay, Gopal is asking, smart SIP to be done manually, right? Like apart from ECS, client has to be advised to add money, it dips manually. Yes, uh, that, we are trying to build that also for you. Eventually, we'll give you that option. But we have something called a switcher. Uh, because what happens is the control of the SIP is getting a little complicated with the customer. So because of which we are asking customer. So you can build a regular SIP and keep asking him to. Uh, so there is one partner of ours who does this beautifully well. I should share this uh, to all of you. So what he does is he creates this SIP with a goal. And every year he will go and sit with the customer and say that this is the valuation of that what we want to. So he does it in a much more, uh, you know, meaningful way. He says that by this year end, I have to accumulate uh, 1 lakh rupees. And for uh, 1 lakh rupees, you have ended up saving 72,000 rupees. So you're short of another 30,000 rupees. Now do that addition. Okay. Or he also says that the market fell by 10% in this year. Now you add 10% to this manually so that's how you can do this Gopal also uh, it's a very uh, innovative way our partners a lot of times uh, come back and give us a lot of innovative ideas very successful ideas that they have uh, worked upon okay so uh, how many SIPs would you require to have a monthly income of 25k uh, simplistically if you uh, you know you can do the maths uh, so basically the math is very very simple we can uh, unfortunately since uh, it's a facebook presentation i am not able to open my excel here and show it to you but otherwise i would have loved to do that uh, you know that your earning is at 0.7 percent uh, per month uh, whatever the evaluation would be so so in the first uh, few months i would say uh, working backwards uh, if you do uh, uh, about five sips of 10,000 rupees. By the time your second year happens, you will get 25k. If my math is right, I'm just doing a mental math. Uh, I think it should be 5k of 10,000 rupees. Uh, sorry, uh, five SIPs of 10,000 rupees over by the second year, we we'll start getting you that income. Otherwise, I'll probably create one cheat and uh, share it to you. Not a problem. Any other doubts, anything else that you guys? Are you guys convinced that SIP is a great method? Uh, and it's quite easy for every customer, right? So when you go to a customer, when you talk to them uh, and you tell them that it, it need not be 6,000 is just an example here. You can just tell them that, you know, can you afford to put just 2,000 rupees every month, right? So that 2,000 rupees every month is not very difficult for People who are averse, they say, that, no, no, I don't know what to do with it. I am very scared of mutual fund. I don't know this. I don't know markets. So for them, just put them through that small investment, the first uh, trial option, and then tell them that, okay, this is your experimental 2000 rupees. And now, next time I'll come back to you and ask you to do it for your goal. Are you guys convinced that it's easier to sell? Can this be shared to us? Yes, I'll share this to you. Not a problem. If you guys are convinced, put yes on the chat box. I want a response from all of you. If you're not convinced, put no, not, not a problem. Mm -hmm. 
Gopal ji, I will give you a much detailed presentation. I wanted it to be quick presentation because I'm, uh, I was convinced that all of you already are aware of SIPs. I will give you a much detailed presentation which you can do to your clients. If, if you want to do a group presentation and you can do an abridged version of it, it's a one-on-one -on -one presentation. I'm a big fan of it. I strongly believe. Very good. Thank you, G. Thank you, Mokshada. Yes, glad, 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 Sabina. Thank you, Manas. The rest of you. Great. Uh, Upendra, I I am a personal beneficiary of this. I wish uh, I could have shown you my own uh, uh, statement across. I have been a personal beneficiary of that. Uh, I, I, I know many people uh, who have invested and just forgotten about it uh, and kept it. Yes, uh, I do agree. Many people, uh, you know, unfortunately, because mutual fund being the most liquid option, uh, you want to buy a TV at home, you want to buy a cycle at home, you would just in the mutual funds. Many people do that mistakes, uh, but still, despite all the mistakes, uh, let me give you one more story. I have uh, five more minutes uh, of yours. Okay, uh, I started my uh, you know career in two thousand one. When I started this career, uh, it so happened uh, that uh, I was approached by uh, two good friends from Franklin Dembri. Today, uh, that company is uh, known for different reasons, also popular. But then, uh, there are a lot of good things that has happened. So, people asked me to do my salary was six thousand rupees then, and these people asked me to do uh, two SIPs at least. They said, uh, you know, how much are you saving? I was not saving anything. I told them, uh, you know, my income is hardly six thousand rupees. I require, and those just mobile bills used to be thousand rupees. Remains almost about thousand rupees used to go away there itself. And I used to give 2,000 rupees home. So they said, can you save that? Uh, and I asked my dad and I managed to save that 2,000 rupees into two funds, uh, Franklin Blue Chip and Franklin Prima. I think Prima or Prima Plus, I'm not very sure. Uh, I, one of that uh, thing. And that 2,000 rupees from uh, literally from 2002 beginning till 2005 uh, was running. And to give you that thought process, uh, in 2005, I bought a uh, land, which is the same property which I'm staying right now in, in Bangalore. Of course, this property, valuations also were cheaper. And just to buy that particular site, uh, what I did is I just redeemed these two mutual funds and that exactly took care of my whole property, right? Uh, and that's sometimes, of course, at that point in time, I was not goal-oriented. Not any goals. I just used to save. So that's the beauty of SIP in equity. Four years, it just my I, I had to take zero loan for the land. So that's the beauty of it. Uh, and later on, after that, I after my you know probably for a two year, I could not save enough for one one and a half year probably uh, because of my EMIs. But after that, I that discipline again kicked in from two thousand six onwards when I was in HDFC at that point in time. 2006 to 2021 SIPs have been consistent. Every goal, every SIP of mine is tagged. And that is, and I'm sitting today at almost closer to 29% CAGR returns on all this SIP. What, which product can give us 29%? Yes, Joseph G, I completely agree. Thank you. Good then, if uh, any other doubts, anything else that you would want to, I'm sure all of you know how to set up an SIP on the portal. Uh, you don't know how to set it up, uh, please do connect with your partners, uh, success team person, or your relationship manager, that is what I want to say. Uh, they will help you out in setting up it. Uh, and now we've made it much more simpler. Uh, you can just set up the mandate and leave it automatically the next month. Uh, debit is you don't have to make the first month payment also. That's that simplicity, that easier uh, that you can do it. Uh, if it's a new KYC, yes, you'll have to make the first payment. But 
otherwise if it's a new uh, completely a uh, existing customer existing kyc then you can just set up the sip and leave it automatically and you can tag every goal uh, to that particular goal every sip has to be tagged to a goal you can rename that to a goal so that the customer will not disturb that sip till the time that goal is reached that's the best way and that, that's when your income of 116000 rupees will happen from that client each client can give you 116000 rupees of monthly income how beautiful it is of course it's a slow process like i told you it's a slow way of creating wealth for not just for the client for you also all we have to do is just manage the emotion of the customer making sure that he continues in that cycle just emotion management, nothing else. Okay, fine. I think uh, we're good with our time. Uh, thank you very much for all of your participation. Uh, keep creating wealth, be successful, and have a great career. Thank you very, very much, guys. Thank you. Good night. Stay safe.